Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a rainbow, which was another request. A lot of my designs recently have been quite difficult and I've become very tired, so it's good to do an easier one. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 17 and a half centimetres by 10 centimetres or 6 and 3 quarter inches by 4 inches. The medium rainbow crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 millimetre hook is 13 centimetres by 7 centimetres or 5 inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. This small rainbow crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimetre hook is 10 centimetres by 5.5 centimetres or 4 inches by 2 and a quarter inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today, so the size will be a bit smaller than this one. I've made this one with just the two clouds, and this one has more pastel colours. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got 146 Vivid Blue, 515 Emerald, 208 Yellow Gold, 189 Royal Orange, 115 Hot Red and 106 Snow White for the clouds. I've got scissors, sewing thread and a needle to stitch the clouds on a darning needle to weave in the ends and a 2.5mm crochet hook. Now I'm going to start at the bottom of the rainbow with the blue. For some of my rainbows I start with purple and work purple, blue, green, yellow and orange. But for this one I'll work the same colours as this one. So I've got my 146, the vivid blue and I work 21 chain. Now for the rainbow part we'll be using half double crochets. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. So for row one we miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, the third from the hook and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And we need one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then we work two half double crochet into the next stitch. That just gives the rainbow the bend. So two half double crochet into the next stitch. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next three chain. and then two half double crochet in the following chain. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next three chain.
and two half double crochet into the next chain. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the following three chain. and two half double crochet into the next chain. And work one half double crochet into each remaining chain. And that's the first row of the rainbow done. We fasten the blue off. And we'll join the 515, the emerald, to the first stitch. So not the top of the chain, this first stitch here. And we work two chain. We work one half double crochet in that same stitch as the chain. and then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches I'm crocheting over the top of this end. I'm holding it against my work and crocheting over the top of it. Then we work two half double crochet in the next stitch. Then one half double crochet into each of the following four stitches. And then two half double crochet into the next stitch. Then one half double crochet into each of the following four stitches. and two half double crochet into the next stitch. Then one half double crochet into each of the following four stitches.
two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we'll work two half double crochet in the last stitch. And we fasten the green off. And that's the first two rows of the rainbow done. Now I'm going to join in the 208, the yellow gold, to the first stitch of row 2. So that stitch there. And I work 2 chain. I work 1 half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. And I'm going to crochet over the top of this tail again. I work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then I work two half double crochet into the next stitch. Then I work one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and two half double crochet in the following stitch. Then I work one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and two half double crochet in the following stitch. Then one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and two half double crochet in the following stitch. Then work one half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into that last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the three rows of the rainbow done. Next we join in the 189, the royal orange, to the first stitch of row 3. 
So just in here, and work two chain. We work one half double crochet in the same stitch as a chain. Then one half double crochet into each of the first five stitches. and work two half double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. and two half double crochet into the following stitch. And we'll repeat that one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. and two half double crochet in the following stitch. And we'll repeat that again, one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. and two half double crochet in the following stitch. Then one half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet in the last stitch. And we fasten off the orange. And that's the first four sections done. For the last colour of my rainbow, I'll be using the 115 the hot red and I join to the first stitch of row 4. And work 2 chain. I work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And 
and then work two half double crochet into the following stitch. Then I work one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. and work two half double crochet in the following stitch. And then I repeat that one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. and two half double crochet in the next stitch. Then one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. and two half double crochet in the next stitch. Then one half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet in the last stitch. And then fasten off. And that's the rainbow part done. I'll be back with my white and we'll work the clouds. Now for the clouds I've got two large and two small. The large clouds have just got one extra row. Now you could just use the two large clouds if you'd prefer. I'll only make one large and one small cloud on camera. Now I've got my 106, the snow white, and I'll start on a large cloud. I start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. I put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. And there's my magic loop. For row one, we work one chain and work six single crochet into the circle. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put your hook through the circle and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the loops. I need five more single crochet in my circle.
I pull the circle tight so I take hold of this tail and ease it in as tight as I can and I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here next to the chain, I put my hook through and bring a loop through and take it straight through the loop on my hook. For row two, I start with one chain. I work two single crochet in that first stitch where the chain is. And then two single crochet in each stitch around. I'll have 12 stitches. And we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. Now for row 3, to give it the shaping, we'll be using a few different stitches. So for row 3, we start with one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and one half double crochet in that stitch as well. Into the next stitch we work one half double crochet and one single crochet. Now that's the first little section of the cloud. We'll have six sections. Into the next stitch we're going to work one half double crochet and one double crochet. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the two more loops. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into that same stitch. And that's the second part of the cloud done. Into the next stitch we're going to work one double crochet and one treble. A treble is a double treble using UK terms you put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn through two more loops, and yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. And then we work one treble into the next stitch. one double crochet into that same stitch and one half double crochet into that stitch. Into our next stitch we work one single crochet and one half double crochet. Then we work one half double crochet and one single crochet in the following stitch. Into our next stitch we work one half double crochet and one double crochet. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. Then we work 
one double crochet and one half double crochet into the next stitch. Into the following stitch we work one double crochet and one treble. And then into our last stitch we work one treble one double crochet and one half double crochet and then slip stitch at the bottom there and that's row 3 done. Now for row 4 we work one single crochet into that next stitch into the following stitch we work one single crochet one half double crochet and one single crochet Then work one single crochet into the next stitch and we slip stitch into the following stitch. And we're going to work like that around. We want a bit more of a point at the top of each of these sections. So we're going to work the single crochet, half double crochet and single crochet in the top of each one. So work one single crochet in the next stitch. Into the top of that next point work one single crochet, one half double crochet and one single crochet. Work a single crochet in the next stitch and slip stitch in the following stitch just at the bottom of the section. Then work a single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet, one half double crochet and one single crochet in the top there and then a single crochet in each of the next two stitches and slip stitch in the next one. Work one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet, one half double crochet and one single crochet in the following stitch. Into the next stitch we work one single crochet and then slip stitch in the following stitch. Then work a single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet, one half double crochet and one single crochet in the next stitch. and then a single crochet in the following stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch. Then we work one single crochet in the next stitch and into the point we work one single crochet, one half double crochet and one single crochet and then work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then slip stitch down in the bottom of that section and fasten off. And that's the large cloud done. Now the small cloud is the same as the large cloud for the first three rows. 
So we make a magic loop and work one chain and work six single crochet into the circle. We pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row 2 we start with one chain and we work two single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then two single crochet in each stitch around will have 12 stitches. And we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row 3 we work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the same stitch as the join. Into the next stitch we work one half double crochet and one single crochet. Into the following stitch we work one half double crochet and one double crochet. And then into the following stitch we work one double crochet and one half double crochet. Into the next stitch we work one double crochet and one treble. Into the next stitch we work one treble one double crochet and one half double crochet. Then we work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the next stitch. One half double crochet and one single crochet in the following stitch. One half double crochet and one double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet and one half double crochet in the following stitch. We've got one more section to do. We work one double crochet and one treble into the next stitch and into our last stitch we work one treble one double crochet and one half double crochet and slip stitch in that same stitch and fasten off. Now that's the pieces worked. 
I'll just weave in the ends and work an extra cloud, large and small cloud, and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the rainbow, two large clouds and two small clouds. Now if I was only going to use the large clouds, I'd put them at the bottom of the rainbow like that. But with the small clouds, I attach the small cloud to the large clouds like that. So I'll attach these two together and I'll be back. And then we attach the clouds to the bottom of the rainbow. Probably about there. So I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished rainbow. And there's the finished rainbow. The size is 16 centimetres by 8 centimetres or six and a quarter inches by three inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.